All right, YouTube, today is January 22nd. Um, I got everything set up, and what I did is I went on the internet and I looked up Operation Fishbowl, and they had two rockets, well, of the two that I chose, they had one that made it to about 250 miles, and they had another at 91.5 miles. I don't remember the names of those rockets that went up that high before they blew up. But anyway, they also have the video of the um, the fastest rocket, and that thing made it up to 73, 73 miles, I think it was, before it seemed like it hit something. The only problem is there was no damage done to the nose cone, so I'm not going to use that one, and it's because of multiple reasons. All right, number one, even 91 miles up on this scale would come out to about three sixteenths of an inch which means I'd have to have the surface of my land three sixteenths of an inch away from the firmament okay even 250 miles comes out to a half inch and that's what I got here uh, the reason why I also chose 250 miles was because that's where the ISS is supposedly flying around up there alright so I got everything set my son is a little socket back there and well first I should probably tell you uh, I couldn't fit this whole thing on on here because my curve is too sharp so I only took from the equator to Quebec and I transferred it on here along with the angles alright so once again there's the equator and the socket is the Sun right there that lines up pretty good they go over to Santo Domingo, 71.3 degrees, and that lines up pretty good. Let's go over to Boston, 47.5 degrees. That lines up pretty good too. Okay, last one, place in Quebec, 28.2 degrees. And that one also lines up pretty good. Now, with it set like this, this socket from the surface of the would-be earth comes out to about seven inches and if you do the math on this scale seven inches comes out to three thousand four hundred and sixty miles that's how high the Sun would be in the sky off the surface of the earth if this were correct now the only problem is is the waters above the firmament I don't know how thick they are, how deep it is. I also don't know the thickness of the dome firmament itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this whole thing on a different setup here. I'm going to have to tear this one apart and try it again. But it seems like it's working right now. Let me know what you think.